Hi everyone, happy Monday and happy first day of virtual learning in semester two. Today, I am going to read a book that was requested to me by my friend Jacob. He is in third grade at my school and I'm so excited to get to read this book for him. So today, we're going to be reading Spider-Man, the story of Spider-Man. I hope you enjoy it. Peter Parker didn't have many friends. Other kids thought Peter was different. They made fun of him. They liked sports and music. Peter liked books. Hey, I like books too. Too. Do you? Peter loved all his classes at school, but he loved science the most. Peter only loved one thing more than science. He loved his family. He lived with his Aunt May and his Uncle Ben. At home, Peter couldn't have been happier. Aunt May and Uncle Ben loved Peter. They bought him a new microscope. Uncle Ben told him that science was power. And, he said, with great power comes great responsibility. Now that line might be a little bit of foreshadowing. Foreshadowing is when they hint at what is going to come next. So let's see what happens next. One day, Peter heard that a lab was going to do something special. They were going to show how rays worked. Peter visited the lab to see it. The rays lit up, but a spider dropped down between them. The spider was zapped with power. Peter didn't notice something. The spider was falling down and it was falling on him. The spider was glowing with power. It bit Peter's hand. Peter held his head. He felt sick. Peter left the lab. He felt so sick that he almost didn't see a car coming. He jumped out of the way. What do you think is going to happen next? I'm not sure, but I'm very excited to find out. Cleo and Penny are running around the house, so if you hear jingling, that's what that is. <laughs> he jumped higher than he thought he could. He landed on a wall and he stuck to it. He climbed up the wall. He was just like that spider that bit him. He jumped from roof to roof. His powers were like a spider's. He must have gotten them from that spider bite. Peter was amazed by his powers. Did you guys think that that's what was coming in the story? Because I did not. Peter saw a poster of a wrestler. He would test his powers on him. Win $1,000. Defeat Crusher. Peter put on a mask. He challenged the wrestler. He threw the wrestler. He beat the wrestler. Peter was happy, but he couldn't be a Spider-Man without something else. He went home and made some gluey stuff. Then he made something to shoot the stuff. He called them web shooters. Peter made a costume. He called himself Spider-Man. Peter loved, oh, sorry, not Peter. P 
people loved Spider-Man. They loved his powers. Soon, he was famous. But one night, he saw a robbery taking place. A cop called out to stop the crook, but Peter didn't stop him. Peter was tired of being told what to do, so he let the crook go. If you were Spider-Man and this was happening, would you have stopped the crook or would you have let him go? Peter went home. There were cops outside. He knew something was wrong. The cops told Peter there had been a crime at his house. Uncle Ben was the victim. So a victim is somebody that gets hurt or in trouble. So they were they were a part of the crime. They didn't commit the crime, but they, they were in trouble. I know I didn't explain that super well, but I think you understand. Peter put on his Spider-Man costume. He rushed to find the criminal. When he found him, Peter discovered something terrible. The crook was the same man he had let run away. <clears throat> Peter was so sad, he cried. But he remembered that Uncle Ben had told him, with great power comes great responsibility. So remember what we were talking about before with foreshadowing. So Uncle Ben had told him, with great power comes great responsibility earlier in the story, before Peter had any Spider-Man powers. And now he's realizing while crying that with great power comes great responsibility. He knew this meant he had to fight crime. He would do it as Spider-Man. He swung over the city. A hero had been born. So if you could be any superhero in the world, who would you be? I know that Jacob really likes Spider-Man and the Black Panther. So I want to know who you would be. Who would you be if you were a superhero? I hope you enjoyed this story. More superhero stories coming soon. Bye.